Ruby here and welcome back to another video. Now today's video is a bit different from the others as this is actually going to be a tutorial and this tutorial is going to be about how you can add end screens to your videos. But before we swim into it you might be wondering to yourself An end screen? God I think Ruby must be gone mad. Yeah she probably just made that up. But for a fact I didn't. Well if you didn't then what is an end screen? I'll give you a hint. Many people put these at the end of the videos. Uh, hello? Doesn't it throw a hint in the name? Alright, alright, I'll just tell you. End screens are put at the end of a video to either 1. Entice people to watch your other videos 2. Persuading people to subscribe to your channel or someone else's or 3. Entice people to visit a website And yes guys, I'm talking about these things. Yep. Yeah. These are the things I'm actually talking about, and their names are end screens. You can put one to four of these on the end of your videos, and they can all be different things as well. That's cool. So, how do we do it? Uh, free sauce. That's what this video is about, guys. Wait, this is a video? <laughs> yeah, guys, this is a video. Anyway, let's get on with it now. First of all, you'll want to go onto YouTube. If you're using a tablet or a phone, you have to open up the desktop version to actually do this. Next, you want to go on to the top right corner of your screen and press your icon. I'm covering my emails by the way. And then press create a studio. A screen like this should pop up. Now find a video you want to add end screens to. Note that you cannot add end screens to videos that are shorter than 25 seconds. Now that you have found your video, click edit and the screen like the following should pop up. Once that is done, find end screens and annotations and click it. You should find a screen that looks like this. If you can't press add element, all you have to do is scroll to the preview bit, turn it on, then turn it back off, and then it should appear like this. Time to add end screens. Click add element, and you'll see options will appear. I want to promote subscriptions to my channel, so I'll go down to where subscribers and press create, and then my profile picture will appear. You can move this anywhere. But now I want to link a video. I'll click add element again and next to video or playlist, press create. Out of the options you are given, I recommend choosing the third one. Click on the video you want to add, then press create element. Once created, you can also move this around. When you're happy, Click save and you're done. As you can see, this is really easy to do. If you do all the stuff I said correctly, you should be able to add end screens to your videos. And you can always check back to see what they look like. This is actually a really good way to earn more views on YouTube. And if it's subscribers. Yes, it can increase your views and subscribers on your channel. Well, that's about it for this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a like. Also comment down below if you want me to do more tutorials. With that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, fly on! Bye!